Hey guys, FB3 Skills here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you what's in my bag football edition and first thing I'm going to start off with groups, groups of shin pads and groups of football boots and then groups of my actual footballs and then there'll be like uh, one, uh, what's it called, one goalie glove and some cones, that's basically it. Let's get to it. Alright, so first batch of shin pads are the Adidas F50s, as you can see, these are really good and I've used these one of the most, like, as you can see, they have the Velcro straps, they're not the uh, other kind, as you can see, there we go, Adidas, it's not focusing, yeah, there we go, Adidas, it's a real deal, I got this from a thing, it was reduced, but it was $20, it's pretty good, it doesn't bend, it's really thick inside, it's an extra large, which I think covers my whole shin. Uh, and yeah, these look battered, but these are really good. These came with the boots, but I didn't get them with them. With those, re uh, I don't know if you remember it, they were like red and orange, those kind of shoes. Uh, but I didn't get them with them, these are by themselves. There you go. Now, next ones. Next, like, shin pads. Alright, next shin pads, I think, are one of my favorites, because like, I use them the most. And the it's these ones. Oh, they just look so clean. I don't know why. It's just they look they look so clean and they look really good for a game and they look professional, they're strong, they do the job, bro. These are amazing. I think these are my yeah, as I said, favorite ones. Look at that, just the design. Like it just looks clean. It's so classic and original. I just love it. So it's this one, that's what else is in my bag. Uh, another shin pad. Last shin pad, and then we're gonna be going to football boots. Alright, last shin pad and it is this Nike Fortress shin pad with the with the uh, protective fit, uh, what's it called, ankle, anklet thing. This is really good, it actually doesn't hurt if you get started probably and these are, I want to use them but they're a bit big, bit big for me so I'm going to leave these until the future and I'll be that one kid with these really really old shin pads. At least they're still alive and that shows how good Nike is. Not sponsoring them, or they're not sponsoring me. I just like to say that because they are really good. So yeah, it's Nike Fortress's uh, protective fit uh, ankle thing, and that's it. Uh, the reason I don't have two in my hand right now is because it's really giant, and this would go like probably up to my knee or something. Actually, no, it wouldn't. It'd go like uh, right nearly to my knee. But yeah, this is the Nike Fortress protective fit. You know what I mean. Next. All right, here are my fir first boots. Uh, I'm not sure what boots they are, but I just call them Nike Classics because, you know, I can't find the name on it. So I'm just gonna call them, as I said, Nike Classics. I'll give you a spin around of them. There we go. Looks something like this. It looks legit too. It's not like those fake Nikes. I just can't find the name on it. It has a really, like everything on this is like thick. I think this is real leather too, cause like, yeah, this is real leather from the outside, but then from the inside, it's definitely not. There we go. So these are Nike classics, next, next boot. All right, here are my training boots. I use these for training as I pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's really in the name. Uh, and yeah, I use them for training. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is for a midfielder or defender, not an attacker. Because of these things, they're actually soft and they have good control on them. Uh, there you go. These studs are like formed in them. They're not uh, separate studs. As they're not something like this. They're like in them. I can't remember what they're called. And these are made of rubber, obviously. There we go. Pretty good. It's Asics. Also, I don't know what it's called. I'll just give you this and this might give you a hint. It's called... It says lethal stats on them. And then you got HD 10, 10 millimeter. I don't know what 10 millimeter, I think it's just this thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, this thing. And that's that, the ASICS lethal stats HD, HG 10 millimeter. Now to my last boot, then it goes to the balls. All right, here we go. These are the Nike Hypervenom Finish 2 FGs. These are my favorite boots. They're just so comfortable. So, the upper is so soft. It's not soft when it comes out of the box, but it will like weaken out after you've used it a bit. And yeah, this is Nike Hypervenom Finish 2 FGs. My favorite and my only one, so I can't really say it like differ from the others. 
Uh, this is in my budget. It's, it was, it, it's like lowered from 120, I'm pretty sure, to 90. Uh, and yeah, I really like these boots and hope they like the Hypervenom line still goes on because these are my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite line. I think Tiempo, after Tiempo, like before Tiempo. So this is, it's this, then Tiempo. So yeah, this is one of my favorite shoes. All right, just so I can leave the best to last, I'm just gonna show you cones. Uh, these are the cones that I use in my videos, if you've seen, like my accuracy compilation. It's pretty tall, so I might like lower this down. Here we go, they're just basic. These I got these from Kmart for like $5, I think, $7, $6, $5 to $7. And they actually do the job. You're not gonna go spend like $15 on something you really don't need. Uh, this does the job, they're great. You can put them anywhere. You can use them as goals. You can use them for like accuracy training. You try for the ball through. Anything you want, you can do. And yeah, these are really cheap. You can get them from any shop near you that does football. It should be there. And they're pretty cheap. You don't need to go get some brand. I don't think there is a brand, but anyway. Next, now I'll show you the goalkeeper gloves, then I'll go to soccer f uh, footballs. All right, here we go. Uh, don't ask how I fit into this. I somehow fit into this, even though my hands aren't that small. Okay, well they are small, but they aren't as small as this. I somehow actually fit into this, and I'll show it to you right now. So I just go on the side, and then we'll like, and then we'll put it like this. There we go, it actually fits me. Uh, I don't know how, and like I'm not even like stretching into it. Maybe if I completely went into it and tried to get full grip, yeah, it somehow fits me, guys. My hand is not this small; it just does actually fit. There we go. They're just amazing. It's I don't know what this brand is. It's called Roish. I think it was like fifteen dollars, so we got it for pretty cheap, more than it usually is. Roish. Yeah, these are actually my size, and I do do go. I do go keeper training, so do have these and you know I like being goalkeeper as a hobby not to actually play in games because then there's pressure and I hate pressure all right now to what you guys have probably all been waiting for the footballs themselves all right, I'm gonna go from worst to last or like from the ones that I use the least to ones I want to use the most all right let's go for it all right so this one I this I don't think this is a brand it's non-branded it's stained it's just really bad uh, it's really old too, I've been using this for a long time and it's kind of destroyed as you can see But it still does the job, I, I, uh, I don't recommend to use them in some games if you just want to muck around I know you don't have this, but like if you had a ball like this, don't use them for games You just know what I'm talking about, it feel light and stuff uh, It will start to deflate, even though it feels like, even if you completely uh, thing, it will never feel as hard as it was before So that's the one uh, football and it's my least favourite Okay, next, this is actually the one I use the most, as you can probably see. Uh, this used to be a bazooka, uh, the Adidas bazooka, even though it was a fake bazooka and I knew that. It, it had like the patterns here, and they all disappeared somehow from like one day of playing on concrete, and that one day I only played for like two hours. So here we go, this is the one I've used the most on against fences and all those kind of stuff. It is battered, but it's still somehow working. Uh, people say it's like hard, yeah, really hard, it really isn't. And they're calling it, it feels like a, people are saying it's a volleyball. It really, I think it probably is and just painted it. Because uh, I got this from overseas, so it was probably a fake. Uh, they probably painted it and then just like, uh, because it was fake, it, was, it didn't say out of that. So obviously it wasn't going to lift to the expectations. And yeah, that's the one uh, thing. I probably use this one of the most now next to the next one. Alright, I got two of these. As you can see, they can't even fit into the frame. I have two of these. Uh, Stadio Pagewood Bodney FC. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna try make it focus. There we go. Pagewood Bodney FC. Uh, since apparently 19, apparently 19, to 1970. Uh, since so yeah, it's it has. This is probably one of the professional ones because this actually was for a team. Uh, it was playable for all weather, synthetic, durable, waterproof, pretty good. Uh, and yeah, these are one of mine. Now next to, I think these are one of my, the ones actually start to get good. These are my top three. All right, so here's an Adidas Bazooka. I'm pretty sure this one's real. If not, I, uh, I, I'm not really sure, but I think it is real. Can you just tell me? Because I'm not sure and I would hope it is. Uh, it's Adidas, where is it? I can't find it. Yeah, I don't think it's real because it doesn't even say like, 
World Cup or anything. Uh, and yeah, here it is, the Adidas Bazooka. Uh, this is really good. It's actually really, like, it works really good. It might not be, I'm pretty sure it's not the real thing, but it actually does really good. And when I play with it, it's, I don't regret using it. All right, so I really can't decide between these two. I'm gonna show it the same together. It's the Nike CR7 Prestige Ball. Uh, CR7 means Cristiano Ronaldo 7 and the famous Adidas Milano Ball, the one that you've seen so many times now. It's like one of the latest on this one. The Adidas Milano, isn't it Milano? I think that's the one, but the one I have is, this is what it says, I'll show you. For the Champions League, for now, I know everyone uses the Euro Ball now, but you know what I mean. It's for the Milano uh, Champions League Ball. Is it's really good. I like him. I'll, I'll do it actually just so it can have its own spot of fame. Don't worry, it's not really good. I can actually clean that, but just really not bothered. There we go. Champions League. There we go. Next is the Nike CR7 Prestige Ball. This has already been in a video, but I didn't actually review it. This ball is really bouncy. It has the Aero Track thing. This thing where it's like sewed in. Uh, I really like it. Then you have this kind of thing where it's not even sewed inside just here, which is the Aerotrack style. And they say these things inside, these bumps, actually make it glide through. So I think this is a glider ball, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, I'll actually show you guys, because I'm dedicated, to show you where it actually says Aerotrack. One sec. There we go, I found it. Uh, let, me, let me just focus so you guys can see it. There we go, it says Nike Aerotrack. There you go, Nike Aero Track. And this basically, I think that means it's these things and how it's sewed. Uh, this glides through the ball easier and it can do stuff for that you want it to. And yeah, this is like the new technology. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay skillful. Bye.